limits on civil liberties, which are not only guaranteed but protected by the Constitution of the United States, have to be done with the acquiescence and the knowledge of every branch of government. That is, if the President wants to go out and continue to wiretap innocent Americans who are not Arab, who have not done anything wrong, who are just innocent, regular people, and he gets the cooperation as he has of all these phone companies to do that, that can't take place and ought never take place unless there's consultation with the appropriate members of the Congress and the committees in the House and Senate, and they've got to agree to it, and that there's some sort of belief that our court system has looked at it and deemed it appropriate behavior. Otherwise, we move toward a, a, a monarchy, a dictator sort of relationship where we have a chief executive believing that if they think something is wrong, they can do whatever they want to do. That's what McCarthyism was all about. So when we start to live it, limit civil liberties, uh, I think more than anything else, we've got to ask ourselves, have we done all we could do to make sure that what we are doing has been properly sanctioned, properly reviewed, and properly agreed upon?